We were still producing Just an Illusion. Uh, Eric sent me a little file with two simple lines about eight bars. Uh, and a note that told me, we are going to make a song that will unify people. Uh, we want to make an, uh, an anthem. An anthem to unification. Now let's go. We Are Hope for me was very stressful. Uh, we gave ourselves a month to do the whole song, which is not a lot of time. And the less amount of time you have, the smaller the margin for error is. So, the end result is great, but I can't say that it was a relaxing project to work on. The main difference with uh, We Are Hope is that when it comes time to record the final vocals, I usually book time with Eric at the studio, and we produce the end result. This time we could not do that because of confinement, so we had to work out each individually. And I would send him our tracks, and he'd send comments, and I'd have to do it again, and then back and forth like this for a while. And when you don't have immediate feedback, it kind of takes away from the immediate performance. So for me, it was a little bit difficult to work that way. But I think the other speaks for itself. Uh, the first goal I tried to achieve with any song is for it to be entertaining. Um, the second goal for this one was to unify people through their reality. Uh, we had to catch uh, the everyday worries of everyone living through confinement. Uh, I think it was done. I think we achieved it pretty well. And I hope that people can unify through a common thread using the lyrics of the song. We were going head first into a wall before this happened. Uh, the big machine running our lives was just too strong for us to make any real changes. I mean, we were doing it very, very slowly, but I don't think we would have achieved it in the long run. Uh, with this crisis, it stopped everything, it stopped the machine, and slowly nature is taking back its place, uh, proving that this is what we have to do. I have to admit I am very worried of how we will come out of this crisis. I am very afraid that people, once confinement is done and things start to get back to normal, will resume where they were heading and we will have learned nothing from this experience. And that is not what we should be doing. We should appreciate what we have through what we lost, and we should change our ways.